Hello everyone and welcome to Dandelion Lessons. Um, today I'm going to use the card that I drew for my reading this morning to talk about some things that it made me think about. And this card is from a deck called Soul Cards. It looks like this on the other side. And I love these cards. Um, it's, they're interesting. They're an or It's an oracle deck. It's called Soul Cards. The artist um, this beautiful work and this is from the deck soul cards one there's also a soul cards two which I do not have so I don't know what those are like but she did them as an intuitive practice and they don't um, they don't come with a guidebook of any kind as far as what the cards mean so when you pull them they basically talk to you personally and you take from them what what you need to take from them and I really like that um, and the art is absolutely stunning um, and this is the card that I drew today and it's really interesting to me because well first of all I find that the woman's face in the card is very peaceful um, so there's a lot of serenity there um, the colors are interesting to me um, this darkness spreading out into a lighter watery color so there's a lot of earth and water here um, and then a the little bit of red some fire but her face is is luminous and in the darkness and around her forehead her crown chakra are um, eight other faces and what this made me think of is is how um, we have many facets to our authentic self. There are many, many facets, and all of them come together to make us unique, but they also can tend to scatter us at times and, and have us feeling that we don't, really don't know what's going on with us. <laughs> you know, we don't know who we are sometimes because we have all of these different facets to us. We all do. And anyways, I, I just, I'm going to paint um, a, a dandelion lesson, and I'm sorry to say that um, the star card that I painted got ruined by one of my cats. I had it sitting on my desk, and oh, he knocked my paint water over, and it went all over it, and it just <laughs> got terrible. And so, um, whatever I paint today is what I'm going to send out, and I'm going to draw uh, randomly select the winner when I'm done making this video but I thought I would paint my own version of this card um, and then after I'm finished come back and, and talk about it so I'm just going to paint I'm using my Edagami postcards from Jet Pens I just picked up the purple pack today and I really love this paper it's very thick um, and it's very uh, it has a lot of bloom factor to it. And I'm using my um, little palette that I purchased from Earth Mineral Arts um, from Margo. It's beautiful, um, very, very different from my Wildthorn paints. And I, um, I'm really grateful because my, um, my upcoming class that I'm filming, um, I was given the okay to talk about handmade paints and usually I just use mass manufactured paints in those videos um, but I need to have um, more than one kind you know and and to to share what I love about them and so I've purchased three I have my wild thorn collection which is amazing I have almost every color I think that Kim, Kim makes at this time and they are my treasures and um, when I discovered Margot, I tried a few of her samples and then fell in love with hers for completely different reasons. And um, so I purchased this set and then I purchased another set from a newer paint manufacturer called Stone Mill. 
you know what, I can't remember the name right now. It's Stone Mill something, but I, I made a post about it on Instagram yesterday. And I have not received them yet, so I haven't tried them. But what I loved about what they're doing is that they are sourcing um, and, 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 and hand grinding minerals and rocks and bricks and other things from local sources. And um, that is fascinating to me. So I'm looking forward to trying those too. These paints are, are very different. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. And I'm just going to paint for a little bit. And then I'll come back and, and talk about my thoughts about many facets.
So while I was letting this dry, I looked up the other paint manufacturer and it's Stoneworks Mill. Stoneworks Mill, and they are on Etsy. And they're also on Instagram, so you should give them a look too. Um, it's a wonderful thing to have so many people, um, to, so many makers out there that make beautiful, beautiful things. And we find the ones that speak to us. Um, and I've learned a lot about the importance of handmade materials and what goes into them and mostly about the specific soul and spirit quality of these products that someone has made by hand. Um, it's really remarkable to me how different they all are and how you can sense the energy and intention and beauty in each um, different maker's products. It's really remarkable. So if you don't use handmade materials yet, um, I highly recommend just exploring it a little bit and seeing if it might be for you too. But anyhow, I'm going to be quiet again and paint some more.
So I put my paints away and I just have a selection of pencils here. I've got a um, graphite aquarelle pencil in HB by Criticolor, which is water soluble graphite. And I have a Venetian red Faber Castell Albrechter watercolor pencil and a brown, uh, deep, kind of purpley red and pink Prismacolor Color Race, which is an inexpensive brand of Prismacolor that you can erase. Um, and I just like them because they're inexpensive and they sharpen well. So I'm going to continue.
Okay. So. Huh. Well, um, I started with just wanting to, to put a face down that was sort of peaceful, but I feel like she's peaceful maybe, but also um, tired. <laughs> I feel like she's a little tired, but she knows that there's so many good things around her. Um, yeah, and I, I tried to put a few different faces in and they all have sort of a different expression from just sort of disillusionment to uh, indifference and maybe worry and um, frustration and just sort of at odds. <laughs> and, and maybe I would look at it differently a different day. I don't know, but boy, isn't that the way it is? You know, we, we, we all wake up each day with the best intentions and sometimes all of those facets within us, one speaks louder than another. But I think what's good to remember is that, is that if we can find time to center ourselves and ground ourselves, however we might do that, it might be a long walk, it might be a wonderful quiet meal alone, it might be a cup of tea, it might be sharing time with someone you love, it might be your creative practice. All of those things can ground us and center us. Meditation, any kind of meditation. And help us remember that even though we have these many sides to us and all of these many things going on in our minds and in our hearts and in our lives, that we can find that place of peace and quiet all of the voices and let them all kind of mix together into our one authentic way of showing up in the world every day. And I don't know if this makes a lot of sense or not, um, <clears throat> but it, it, this card, you know, when I drew this card this morning, it really spoke to me because I feel lately that I'm scattered and that I have my eggs in many baskets and I have uh, many responsibilities and things expected of me from many different directions. I mean, even just keeping up with correspondence and, and things like that, I don't, I, I sometimes fail, you know? And my, my, my inner self wants to be good at all of it and wants to give to every part. And sometimes we just have to find our way back, you know, to what really matters and to quiet ourselves and give ourselves some, some solace and some time of peace in our lives. And, and for me, uh, many times, that's my creative practice. Almost all the time, it will bring me back to a good place. And so, um, you know, even as I look at this over here, I see many faces <laughs> in the paint, just kind of stacked up like a totem pole. So we have, you know, those could be guides. Those could be our inner knowing. Um, I, feel f I feel flowers and water and earth and trees and everything of beauty that surrounds me and that can allow me to find my way again when I'm feeling overwhelmed and confused and when there are too many, too many things I need to tend, attend to. And so anyhow, that's, that's my, those are my thoughts for today based on my soul card drawing this morning. And I hope, I hope it makes some kind of sense. Anyways, um, that's it for today. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. If it made any sense to you, if it made you think of certain things in your own life. And I am going to go over and um, take down names and randomly select someone to receive this card. And what I'll do is I'll leave a comment on your comment on how to get in touch with me with your mailing address. Okay? Sorry about the star card, but things happen and um, hopefully this one will take its place well. Anyways, thank you very much for being here as always and have a wonderful day. Thank you.